What's up guys, my name's Ryan. Today I'm going to be showing you how to just, I guess, do a little random scene edit. And uh, I know a lot of people make these kind of tutorials where they'll show a certain effect or something like that. But uh, just kind of, kind of go with it and you guys can kind of mimic what I do and maybe learn something from it, hopefully. It's kind of my goal. Alright, so uh, first we're going to come down here and we're going to import our footage into After Effects. So uh, I'm going to pull a clip from here. I'm going to go with, let me think. I'll just I'll use this one, and my footage is all 1280 by 720 HD footage, and uh, I would really recommend you editing HD footage. It's a lot better and uh, easier, in my opinion. All right, so uh, now that you got that footage imported into After Effects, now what you're going to want to do is make a new composition by going up to the top here and uh, hitting New Composition. Before you do that though, um, right over here in the top left you can see this is the dur duration wow, of your clip and mine happens to be 30, sec 30 seconds so uh, I'm going to make it 31 seconds, actually I'm going to make it 60 seconds because I'll, I'll tell you why a little bit later. So 60, you can match comp size but I'm just showing you how to do it like this. Okay, now drag your footage right onto the composition right here. And I'm just going to pan through and show you guys what I have. I, I actually just right there, I'm going to tell you what I did. I just uh, lowered the resolution down to a quarter so it doesn't lag as much when I pan through. Alright, so as you can see, well, even though it's still lagging because it just opened up the program. This guy's running up here. And it's following. I actually used this in my edit I just released, but which I'll, I'll link in the bottom I guess um, yeah so I guess we're just gonna make this look pretty cool kinda like I did in the video and uh, start out I already showed you guys how to make a color correction I'm gonna upload that and then upload this tutorial so uh, I'm not gonna do a color correction right now I'm just gonna show you guys some basic effects to make your edits a lot cooler alright so I usually after I do the whole color correction thing I actually want to slow down the clip a little bit and make it look a little bit more scenic. So uh, what we're going to do right now, let's go into our revision plugins and choose Twixter. But before you do that, go up to the top. Oh, oh lord. <laughs> go up to the top and uh, you're going to want to select layer. Oh, make sure you select it on your comp. Go to layer, fail layer and uh, oh wait, wait you gotta select the footage too going crazy alright layer frame blending pixel motion it's very important and then you're gonna wanna go to time and just in case the footage gets uh, held back a little bit enable time remapping and now that you have that done you can actually add your twixter effect to your footage and you can use a you can use a new adjustment layer if you really want but I usually just add it right to the clip so now you're gonna go to effects Twixter Pro is under your effects under your clip right here you can use it up here too but it's a lot easier if you keyframe down here and uh, you gotta go down to output control so right off the bat you're gonna want to click keyframe on the speed under output control and Go to a point where you think would look cool when he's running to slow it down. So right about here, I think it looks pretty cool. But his foot's about to come off the ground, so I'm going to go back a, a frame by clicking on my screen. It's over here, on, right near RAM preview. You're going to click on this thing, and it's going to set you back at one frame. And then you're going to keyframe it right here. And then you the opposite one which is right here you're gonna move head of frame and I'm gonna drop the speed to probably around 10 10 seems good and now what you're gonna have is you're gonna see this guy starting to move in slow motion nice and smooth because you enabled pixel motion and that's gonna give you your slow run effect if you've ever wondered why or how anyone's ever done that so now that you got your slow 
running guy, which looks pretty damn cool. Anyone would be pretty impressed with that. And probably ask you how you did it, and then you can direct them to this awesome tutorial. So now that you got that done, that was corny. You're gonna drag in. I'm using no white factoring. All these plugins were bought, so I definitely recommend you guys picking up these plugins. You can get them from all the providers that they're named by. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I'm just gonna actually, you know, I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer for that. Make sure if you're ever wondering why it's a blank comp, it's because you're not clicked on your comp on your footage. Layer new adjustment layer. Okay, now you got your new adjustment layer. You're gonna drag in. I usually just use glow, and uh, you gotta put the the actual no light where the sun would actually be. So. Right here is a really great example. You can see his shadow is coming this way, meaning the light's in the opposite direction. If you want your clip to look realistic and better, you're always going to want to put it in the position where the sun would actually be. So I'm going to throw it right there, and I'm not going to have a pink sun. So what I'm going to do is uh, go down, make it a darker orange. I, eh, a little darker. Almost a reddish orange. And then the outside of it, I'm going to make it a red. And I'm going to up the brightness a little bit like that. Drop the scale a little bit, up the brightness a little more. And now what you got here is a guy running with the sun in the background, which looks really cool. I'm going to show you guys that in full resolution right now. It's pretty neat looking. And that's without color correction. But uh, something you really want to watch out for, remember the sun doesn't move around. The sun stays in one spot, so what you're going to want to do is uh, go down to your keyframes where the sun positioning is, or the no light position is. I'm calling it sun because it's, I don't know, because it's the sun in this. And uh, you're going to want to keep it in the same position, so you don't really need to keyframe these unless you want the sun to flicker on and off like that. I know some people do that. It looks pretty cool. So if you wanted to do that, you could just click on that, move it up up a couple like this, you know, let me drop down the resolution again to color so it loads faster, make it do it like that, move it up a little more, up the brightness again, and then what you have is just the sun's flickering like that, but uh, you know, I don't really feel like doing that, I like the sun to be just chilling like that, so I'm going to go ahead to the lights location right here, and what that basically is, if you can see up by the sun over here, it's moving every time I drag this. But I'm keeping it right there. And as I pan ahead in my footage, it's actually getting closer. So you're going to want to drag it down. And since you're already clicked on the stopwatch and you moved it ahead here, it's going to try to stay in that same position. As you can see, as I pan through the clip, it's staying in that same spot. So uh, there's your sun. So now you got the slow moving guy. You got your no light, and that's like a basis for just a decent edit right there. Uh, very, I guess, generic kind of effects, but, well, nowadays, these used to be like, wow, how did he do that kind of effects, but now they're more common, I guess. Um, I guess I can show you guys like one more thing before we wrap this up. Create a new adjustment layer. And uh, now what we're going to want to do is go down to video copilot and optical flares so drag that onto your adjustment layer what's cool about this is I'm kinda teaching you guys all these in one episode so you don't have to waste your time watching like four different tutorials that are ten minutes long each to kinda get right to the point so uh, once again optic optical flares god and that's, uh, that's by videocopilot.net if you guys don't have this plugin, I'd recommend buying it. It's very, very good. Okay, so now what this plugin actually does, let me turn off our sun and uh, I'm going to show you. It actually creates a lens flare as if the point of view where we are right now is the actual camera that's filming these guys run ahead. So what you're going to want to do is up here on the top, you're going to want to go to, let me zoom in for you guys. Want to go to options 
and what's going to come up is this screen right here. Now, in your option settings, you're going to want to go to show presets. You can actually, actually, let me go back really quick. Good, uh, you, you can actually create your own presets by going here, but for this tutorial, I'm just going to show you someone else's presets that, that are already made. Alright. So what you got here is a couple different ones. If you want a more natural look, I would recommend the natural flares, which is kind of obvious, but yeah. Um, all right, I'm just going to go with mm, not that one. We can, we can minimize this, make it a little smaller. But once you clicked on that, you put your mouse over here and then hit OK. So now what you got is this right here. Put it in the position of the sun change the color to like a like an orangey like we had that's too yellow and a little lighter because remember that the light's not going to be as bright as the sun usually and then uh turn the brightness down a little bit if you have it on way too much it's going to look a lot faker than it's supposed to and usually if the sun's over here it's going to be in the opposite direction so the flare is going to be somewhere over here so now if you turn your thing back on and what you can do is keyframe it so it pans across as the guy moves which is a really cool effect and uh, will definitely impress people so to pan it all you got to do is right here position XY the center position now now that you uh, key hit, hit the stopwatch on those two they're keyframed in that position you have them. So when you pan through this clip right here, you can move that back and move your center position across like that. And it keyframed that movement. So when you go back, it's like, which is pretty cool. I know you guys like that sound effect. And to even make it more realistic, you get the brightness. And then uh, when you come up here, turn the brightness down a little bit so you don't just have some floating red dot or yellow or orange dot on your screen so you know it's a pretty cool little I guess uh, clip you got there if you add some color correction it's pretty pro so uh, hope you guys learned something from this tutorial and uh, you know hit the like button and subscribe for more tutorials like this alright well thanks for watching guys appreciate it